what do you think from all levels of government should be done to try and prevent this that is occurring, which is basically, if you have money, the law's on your side. If you don't have money, then you have no recourse. I, I, I think that has to be addressed. I think, uh, I think the, I think the, I think the banks, and as uh, and some of the mortgage companies who have been forced to stop, the to to to, to cease all of this. I think that that stoppage should remain in effect until a process is developed that treats each case individually and each case fairly. And I think there should be a process that's developed to try to right the wrongs. And God knows there's probably hundreds of thousands of, of, of foreclosures that have occurred that should not have occurred. But there has to be a way of protecting the people in this, in, in, in this country. If not, if we don't find a way, then, then, then we're going to have a revolution here. People, the people just won't stand for it. Do you think the federal government has failed us miserably in implementing the right systems and employing the funds that have been generated to try to fix the problem? I, I think that the federal government is at fault. I think the state governments are at fault. I think the courts deserve criticism as well for moving too aggressively and too quickly as far as these foreclosures are concerned. I don't think you can blame any one area. I think there's multiple uh, multiple blame that's responsible uh, for these problems. But I, 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 I look, I'm a, a product uh, of the Depression. And I, I remember I grew up in Philadelphia, uh, probably like uh, a number of people that, are, that, that watch your program. I'm a first generation American citizen, both of my parents uh, were born outside the United States. I remember as a boy, my mother uh, walking a mile, walking with my mother for one mile to save one penny on a dozen eggs. I remember my father, who was a barber in Philadelphia, and who never earned more than 75 or 85 dollars a week in his life, never drove an automobile. I remember hearing my father talking to my mother, worrying about where the rent was going to come from so that we could stay in our home. So I, I, I remember this, and I remember it firsthand, and these are images that will never, never, never clear my mind. And that's probably why what has, what has upset me so much with what's happened here at the county and what's happening in general with the mortgages. And I have to commend uh, Attorney General Bill McCollum, who has really taken it upon himself to really go after the, the mortgage companies and the banks and those individuals and the lawyers who have profited from this as well. Many critics say that this action on your part, this recall, is because of the previous case uh, between yourself and the building of the Marlins Stadium. What do you have to say to those critics? I respect the courts. The courts made a decision in that regard, and I respect that decision. Uh, I, we, had, we went through the appellate process. Uh, we, we lost. We lost some of our charges on the basis of technicalities. But I respect the rule of law. I believe in the rule of law of this country. Uh, my actions have, have nothing at all to do with what occurred uh, with the baseball stadium. But, uh, but my actions reflect so many of the mayor's decisions during all of these years that he's been in office. He, we, we started out uh, believing in him. We, he asked for strong powers. We gave him strong powers as a mayor, and no other mayor since since our charter has received. And what he's done with, with those powers, he's just failed the test of leadership. And he's failed it miserably, and he's hurt the quality of life for the people of this community.